Did the Apollo astronauts really land on the moon? The question lies at the heart of one of the greatest conspiracy theories of all time, a theory born from an era of global suspicion and political mistrust. They had to fake the moon landings because they knew successful trips to the moon and returns could not be made. They were producing a production, a showpiece, if you will. The moon conspiracy theories anger those close to the missions. These hoax conspiracy propagators are doing a tremendous disservice to the young people of our future. Did the Apollo moon landings really happen, or were they a carefully engineered deception? One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. In the 21st century, one of man's greatest achievements remains a source of controversy. The highest summit in the world, standing at the cruising altitude of much commercial jet traffic. The summit of Everest is 29,035 feet high. And whatever route you use to get there, you have to enter the death zone. The summit is the halfway point. And when you stand on the top of the world, you are halfway there. But if you reach that summit, and that is the beginning and end of your focus on that mountain, then you'll probably die trying to get back down. If you've got somebody dying in front of you, whatever effort you still have left within you should be expended towards saving that person. The reality may be that you may not be able to help somebody. But even if you do nothing else but sit down with them in their last moments and they have something to tell you, that's not a small thing. Anyone wanting to stand on top of the world will find their morality severely tested as they fall under the spell of the summit of Mount Everest. For almost 20 years, this man has lived in total darkness. Desperate to see, he's risking his life on the promise of this maverick scientist. I am prepared for the risks of innovation. It's a sub-miniature TV camera in a glass. These men share an obsessive mission to be the first to create artificial vision. That answered my prayers. But the field is getting crowded with competitors. I don't think it's quite so important to be first. Being best is what's going to really matter. If it works, Jens will be the first blind person in the world to have a workable artificial vision system implanted in his brain. What you're seeing here is the beginning of the end of blindness.